Hi there and welcome to the Shoe Render Drawing Channel and today we are going to, whoa, aliens, let's get rid of them. Um, <laughs> we don't want aliens, this is serious stuff. This is uh, for the Space Lab, this is the International Space Station and, uh, oh, let's not talk about it, let's do it. Right, well, let's see how we get on with this. <laughs> this is um, not going to be that easy. I'm going to use a really just to put a kind of couple of lines in like that and I'm going to put something about there another one up there and then how much was the difference there okay so it's kind of run about the same difference so these are all kind of running parallel to each other and what I'm going to do okay that's going to be kind of the middle this bit here in the, the it's going to be kind of the middle living kind of section and then you've got two arms let me find the middle of the camera there's the middle of the camera right so we're going to have kind of a this kind of section that is kind of in the in the middle it's kind of like that and that's kind of boxy kind of shape like that um, and then you have this thinner section coming out to the end here um, and I'll put that to about, that feels about right there yeah and then what we're going to do is that's the furthest point out there okay so what we've got to do is at the end we want a little bit sticking yeah we want these little bit prongs sticking out there like that Bits there, bits there. <laughs> okay, this is a little bit silly, isn't it? Hang on. I think I think I'm gonna start that again. I think I've got this coming out a bit too far. Okay, I'm gonna have that coming about there and again about there. And then we have these prongs coming out at the end and prongs coming there like that, so that we then have a similar thing coming up there. So we have two um, these are huge great solar panel energy collecting things um, like that and then you're going to want a similar one here with a which is kind of held on with prongs there one two one two two one two I hope you can see this and then here what do we have so that bit, kind of bit of prong is coming out kind of like that and then we're going to want to go one, uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And then we want a similar thing there with a prong. It's not really a prong, is it? It's a kind of a thing around which it axillates. Ax, ax, it's a kind of axle, kind of. <laughs> um, I'm not the most technical person really to be teaching you how to draw the space station, but this is just a kind of a fun cartoony kind of thing. Okay, these are the those are the, the, the main solar panel kind of collecting things. And then you have these bits come, coming up. Let's just have a uh, thing here. You kind of got a barrel y bit coming down here. Um, something like that these are kind of docking thing I think that I don't know really do I um, I'm just kind of showing you how to draw it. I'm not telling you exactly what it is if you want to know exactly what it's all about then you want to go to Space Lab YouTube Space Lab and they will tell you everything you ever want to know about Space Lab and better still you can join in the fun by devising your own experiment if you're between 14 and 18 years old uh, I'm saying this in <laughs> October 2011, so don't get excited if you're in you know, 2030 and watching this, um, which is quite possible. So um, if you're between 14 and 18, you can enter and design your own space experiment and actually have it happen <laughs> for you, which would be pretty amazing, wouldn't it? Um, so what have we got? I think we have something like, oh, I don't know what's going on, another kind of thing going on up there. I'm making this all up, I think, am I? So well, let's assume there's another kind of thing there and we'll have a little Voshkod unit kind of linked in 
there like that okay then you got these kind of um i don't know what they are they're some kind of panels so you want one two three one two three like that and then they're four high so you want one two so you draw it in the middle and then either side like that and i think that's pretty much what we need oh we got those other things up here which i've no idea what they do so these will be coming kind of coming towards you again cut those into four I should have done lots of research on this but I, th I actually meant to but um, oh I'm just so busy at the moment I find I'm saying that all the time it's starting to sound like an excuse <laughs> um, and probably all sorts of little bits like right okay let's I don't want that pen Try that one. Uh, <laughs> I've got a better pen. I've got a better pen than that. Yeah, that's much better. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna start off here, and because this is kind of on the top towards you, I'm gonna bring that down there. And oh, actually, that's gonna come something like that, and then we want a curve around there um, and yeah like that and then we've got some kind of little thing like there I think this is probably come, some kind of docking bay again there uh, this again is some kind of docking thing and I have no idea what any of this is I'm just making shapes really I mean, if, if you actually know what these things are and you really, really care about it, then you're going to go and research it and find out even more. But this is just kind of a bit of fun to uh, I'll put a bit of shading in there. Like that. Just a bit of fun so you can kind of do a drawing of it while you are dreaming up your amazing um, thing for experiment that you want them to do on Space Lab. I think I think if I was young again I'd be really, really excited about this. I'd be scratching my head trying to think of all sorts of things. Spiders are the first thing that come to my mind, but I think that's been done, hasn't it? That's probably why I'm thinking about it. Um, but I'm sure I'm sure there'd be something quite interesting uh, with other kinds of animals that do things and see what they do in space when they go weightless. I think they did that with the spider, didn't they, to see how how they would get on with um, you know uh, building a a web in space. I don't think they did terribly well. Got a bit wonky. Um, I'm sure there are lots of other things like that. So. Uh, and I wonder what I wonder what the final uh are all these wings and things that stick out. I wonder what the final winner will be. I have no idea. It'll be something completely off the wall, won't it? That no one would ever have thought about. Um I'm just gonna put these kind of bits in there. I'm kind of I think I'm starting to make this up now out of my head. <laughs> uh and then we want these kind of Squares. I have no idea what these ones are for. They're obviously some kind of, you know, power collecting thing or some, maybe some experiment, I don't know. What's in the little kind of mark in the corner like that? Um, or at least in the pictures that I've looked and you're probably fine the trouble is I think you know the space station has been built up bit by bit over the years and probably fine if you go and um, try and compare this to another photo you'll go what <laughs> it's nothing like that uh, I think that's because it's just constantly changing as they add bits and probably take bits away and uh, uh, am I going to be able to paint this as well? I don't know. Let's see if we have time. I might have to speed the painting up or something. We'll see how we go. Um, right, how are we doing? Um, 
Now these bits are uh, coming towards you here so I'm just going to put these kind of like that and and I guess these are I don't know these are probably some experiment they're collecting solar wind or something um, something like that there we go somebody uh, when I did my um, <coughs> Space Lab video, the music one, which I hope you've seen. If you haven't, I'll put a link here right now. Um, somebody made a comment. I think they got the didn't quite get the understand quite what I was doing with it, and they thought there was a competition that I was entering. <laughs> I'm a bit too old to enter it, I'm afraid. <laughs> but uh, it'd be been, been fabulous if I could. <laughs> Got to do some kind of art in space and uh, see what happens if you kind of throw ink <laughs> around the place or something. I, they wouldn't like that, would they? Probably because it's all the ink would kind of blob into little balls and it would get stuck in the ventilating shafts and things. <laughs> I don't think liquid is a very good thing in space. Uh, I'm just going to put lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of lines across there. So these are the uh, these are the big solar panel power collectors. At least I think they are. I'm just I'm yeah. They got to be, haven't they? Um, if they're not, then I haven't got a clue what they are. They got to be. I'm sure I'm going to get lots of space lab kind of um, space station rather uh, aficionados will start comments and saying oh no it's a such and such and <laughs> put me right <laughs> that's okay I don't mind I know I don't know it all during the Apollo thing um, Apollo's uh, missions I was uh, incredibly lucky that there's a kid at school in my class called Guy Mitchellmore who I think is now a TV presenter in London I don't know I've seen him once or twice on the time but his dad was a TV presenter he was and he was the guy who presented the Apollo space missions on the BBC when I was young in the 1960s. And um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before. But anyway, and um, just happened to go to school with him. And I was mad about the Apollo missions, absolutely mad. You know, some kids go completely crazy about things. I went crazy about Apollo and you know I just dreamed of being an astronaut and uh, and Cliff Mitchell kind of got to hear about this and, um, and he gave me the official NASA press release for the moon landing <laughs> it was 100 pages it was really thick about two, three hundred pages and it had the whole moon mission with pictures and all everything like that for, for newspaper for people who didn't you know journalists don't know anything about space so it's so that they could just say oh well they could look up what day it was what time it was and say oh this is what they're doing right now so I had this kind of blow by blow minute by minute um, you know um, press release thing you know telling you exactly what was happening and it was just incredible I'm sure I've told this story before and uh, and then I I got a bit upset with Apollo because it, suddenly it wasn't on the telly anymore. It just wasn't news. And so <laughs> it was a hard lesson in life, I think, because I, I wanted to have Apollo on the telly all the time. Telly, I mean TV. Depends where you're on. And, um, and I couldn't believe there were kind of these moon missions going on and they weren't televising them. And there's people up there on the moon and pff, people couldn't be bothered anymore. They'd seen it and done it. So uh, <laughs> I kind of got really kind of I, I don't know I suppose huh, what if they're not doing it I don't care anymore or something and so all my collection of um, Apollo stuff I swapped I can't even remember what for something silly and useless so I no longer have it I'm <laughs> afraid I don't know it'd probably be worth a bit by now. I'm sure I've told that story before in another video. If I have, I apologise. But, uh, but 
Whereas now I'm, uh, oh I don't know what this is, I'm not, I think this is that, and um, then uh, when I was 11 years old I could have told you anything you like about Apollo. I knew the whole lot, everything. I even knew the astronauts' birthdays, I think. <laughs> what they have for breakfast, and all that kind of thing. Sweet and sad at the same time. So here we are. These, uh, it's these panels that take so long, isn't it? There we go. Uh, get that in there. There, 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 there. As I say, this isn't a really accurate drawing. I mean, that would take forever. This is kind of a, a cartoony kind of impression, isn't it, really? But uh, I'll give you a kind of an idea. And now, am I going to paint this or what? Um, first of all, I'm just going to 16 minutes. Oh, sorry. Um, if I'm, I'm going to paint it, but I'm going to do it as a speed drawing. Okay, I'm just drawing this. I'm sure the ink is dry before I erase. Somebody said the other day, can I say erase again? Uh, <laughs> I just like the way I say erase. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to paint this in speed time. But first of all, what I'm going to do, I've got here a China marker, okay, which is wax. And I'm just going to put in lots of little dots. And when I watercolor over the top, they will turn into stars, <laughs> I hope. So, I don't know how random it is, because I can't see! <laughs> and I'm going to put a very, very gentle thing like that. Right, okay, I'm going to speed. Okay, well, I'm painting in the earth, first of all. Splashing a bit of blue around the place, and then Remember I put those little white dots in there and you can see them kind of resisting the paint as I put it on. And so they become stars. And this is just, you've got to be kind of careful and just paint around the edges. And you can see I'm not being that exact. Um, you don't have to be exact. I mean, I think if you're a, um, you know, if you're a mathematician or a scientist or something like that, you probably want to be exact. It's the other. <laughs> That's the way you are. Uh, I'm just drying that with my hair dryer. But, um, yeah, so now I'm putting a kind of an undercoat on these panels of a kind of an ochre colour. And putting in little bits of shading. Because um, you get quite harsh shadows in space like that. Very bright sunlight. Um, there's not many grey shades in between. Uh, and then and then I'm now kind of flooding into the uh, that kind of ochre colour, a sort of darky mess. And then a little darker bits for some more shadow. And there we go. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I think it looks a bit prettier now that it's kind of coloured in a bit. Uh, I, uh, I, it, you know, it's not the, the, an exact scientific kind of drawing. But I hope it's kind of taught you a bit about painting and just about laying things out and things like that. And I hope you had a bit of fun watching. And uh, now look, if you want more really cool space videos, then go to youtube.com slash space lab. And when you're there, click on the discover button. And my friends Liam and Brad, who are from the world of the orange, uh, will be showing you the best space videos on YouTube. And, and they've got some fantastic stuff on there. So go and have a look. And uh, meantime, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more how to draw space stuff videos. And don't forget there's a playlist as well. So I'll put it all on the end. Um, in the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, practice, practice. You take care now. I'll see you next time.